We've all imagined it, a world where robots do every job going. Well, imagine no more, because in a remote part of Japan, some sense of that future can be experienced at a robot hotel. Welcome to the Hello Hotel. Enjoy your comfortable stay. I will enjoy my comfortable stay. Thank you, robot. Japan already employs over a quarter of a million industrial robot workers, more than any other nation, in an effort to counter high labour costs. Big business would like to see that number go up to one million over the next 15 years. But as developers get better at building humanoid robots, bosses in the service and entertainment industries are eyeing up ways to automate their workforce too. What we've come here to find out is whether this is just a local obsession or something that could become the norm for anyone that goes on holiday in the future. And along the way, we want to answer a bigger question. What is it that humans need to do to make sure that they're still needed as robots continue to take over? Japan has always taken a lead in designing what our future might look like. We were there to visit the latest innovation in hotels, but 30 years before robots ran them, capsule hotels were the imagined future. So firstly, we went to visit them. You have to cover up your tattoos in the capsule hotel, stop the Yakuza kicking off. Fashion no, no, usually wearing socks and sandals, not here. Is it your first time to stay here? It's my first time to okay. stay here. So this is your lo local room. It hasn't really been explained to me why I have to put this on. I'm going along with it. Capsule outfit. So this is my room for the night? Yes, it's your room. All right, into the capsule. Quite hard getting in here, elegantly. <laughs> I thought it would feel more like being in a coffin. But actually, you could imagine having quite a nice relaxed sleep here. I think the capsule hotel is a fantastic invention, and I don't really know why it's not been replicated everywhere else in the world. What do you think about the idea of robots doing the job of receptionists? <laughs> え、うちのホテルっていうのはおもてなしの心があるんで、え、人間じゃないとダメです。あの、お客様の、え、欲し、してほしいこと、もしくはあの、おもってることを先回りして考えて行動するんで、やっぱりおもてなしの心は人間じ
Despite how realistic they were, I found the robots awkward. Do the conversational niceties of meeting people on common ground even apply to artificial beings? As I left Tokyo and boarded a plane to Nagasaki, this question was still on my mind. By now, I was looking forward to finding out where that middle ground lies when robots are doing actual jobs. The Henna Hotel roughly translates into Weird Hotel, but would that describe the human experience of a place almost exclusively run by robots? Welcome to the Hennel Hotel. If you want to check in, please press 1. If you want to check out, please press the check out of the right of the touch panel. Please move to the right touch panel and check in. This reminds me of going to the supermarket and having to check in, check out there. Which I struggle with as much as I seem to be struggling with this, but it's persevere. Do you wish to use facial recognition for entrance? I do. Okay, so you put your card there. Please confirm it. Pull the card over the toilet reader and register your face. Check-in is all finished. Enjoy your comfortable stay. I will enjoy my comfortable stay. Thank you, robot. Quite good if you could ride on it. It's obviously not a quicker way of getting your bag to the room. And we're here. You can sort of see what people mean about kind of robots having personalities. Bye, robot. Thanks for your help. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see if the facial recognition key system works. So clever, that is clever. I'm very impressed by that. Oh, wow. It's a little set of instructions. Okay, we'll ask him to turn the lights off. Judy Chan. Akari Keshite. And the lights are off. <laughs> I wanted to meet the man behind the robots. The Henna Hotel was the brainchild of Japanese travel tycoon Hideo Sawada. Hideo is like the Donald Trump of the travel industry in Japan and only had an hour to spare with us out of his busy schedule. We're inside this kind of Edwardian style Dutch townhouse. It looks how you'd imagine sort of the inside of the White House or something to look. Can you describe to me the relationship between robots and people in Japan here? やってましたね。日本のだからそういうのがあるので、日本のロボット技術は非常に面白いロボット技術がたくさんあります。はい。Do ロボットホテルのコンセプトはもちろんそのえっと人を少なくしてロボットにサービスさそうということは一つ目あります。一つ目があります。で、二つ目がですね、やっぱり楽しくなかったらダメなので、だ将来はうちのホテルは半額でも
It looks like it should belong in a factory or even an art gallery rather than a hotel. It's nice to meet you. My name is now nice to meet you. I will guide inside the building. What do you want to know? Check in. Where do I get the breakfast? You can have your breakfast at the restaurant Aura, which is two minutes by walk from here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, it was quite interesting talking to the CEO then. His love of robots means that he can innovate within his business and part of that innovation helps him cut costs. I think as the consumer, we're going to be forced to love robots. They're going to be sold to us, packaged up as dinosaurs. But for the people driving this innovation, it's really capital that's doing that. Do you think that the robot hotel is a good idea? It's a good idea, yeah, I think. Yeah. Because, yeah, by using robot, we can cut cost, and it's very unique. <笑>最初はロボットがいて面白いと思ったんですけど、途中からちょっとつまらないなと思いました。なんか寂しいというかスタッフがいないの。ロボットがいて、でもちょっとこう聞き取ってもらえないときもあったから人間の方がいいときも